Hey, what is up, guys? Wicked 95 here, back with another video. Welcome to Wicked Sector Figure Reviews, and today I am back with another full review to do for you guys. And this time, I have the Legend Series 20 Ted DiBiase figure, guys. It's been a while since I've done a Legends review. I think the last one that I did was uh, the Bradshaw, maybe the Farouk, uh, or the Molly Holly. I don't remember, but it was one of those sets, um, or it was one of those figures in that set. I don't remember what Legends line it was. 17 maybe um 16 but it's been quite a while uh i'm not trying to get every single legends loose and mock like i am doing with my ultimates but uh i if i if i do see some on clearance that i like i might pick them up if not i might get if i really really like them i might get them on doubles uh full price but i mean who doesn't like clearance elites right pretty cheap like this one tend to be i'll say seven dollars on Target, uh, they are doing the whole Target wipe for the new elites, or the new Legends elites actually, and probably even new elites. Hopefully, the Target steps it up and gets some new figures. Uh, for some reason, my targets never get like good elites and AWs as well, so I'm never able to find like the new, the new new stuff, you know. Uh, and the Legends are kind of like a hit and miss. Sometimes they are there, sometimes they're not, but. Either way, let's get into this Legends uh, Series 20, Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man. It's a pretty nice figure. Uh, unfortunately, I was never able to find the Chase figure, the Chase of this, because he does come with a white suit. Um, I've been getting good luck to finding all of the Legends Chases, but damn, this one was impossible for me to find. Even though these were in all the targets that I was, like seven of them, and out of all of them, no, no Chase. Not one Chase. Uh, but I was able to pick up the whole set except for the Triple H. Because at the beginning, I saw everything, every other one except for the Triple H. But uh, my boy Fix hooked, hooked me up with that Triple H. So he will be in my collection soon. But either way, Triple H, Million Dollar Man, Teddy VLC, Mr. Perfect, and Greg the Hammer Valentine. I was actually looking for another Mr. Perfect for uh, a review and opening him. Putting him in there loose because he does look pretty sick with that. I think it's soft good singlet and the towel. He looks sick, but I missed out. I did see him on clearance, but at that time, I my brain didn't click to get us uh, to get him there, you know. But it is what it is. Um, I did went to two targets already uh, after the clearance, and I was only able to find the million dollar man, which is this one. And I do have another one that I got for seven as well, but I don't know if I should open it. I kind of just want. The figure for the for the body you know the the suit so that's why i picked up one to have him lose complete and then another one to do like a custom or something but let's get opening this figure guys ted dibiase there ted dibiase here everywhere on the sides they are after this set they are doing the new wave the new packaging that kind of looks like the old school elites when they became like you know when they first started with mattel so I don't know if they're going back to that packaging or what. Million Dollar Man, so that's an info right there. And like I mentioned, the other one's in the line. But here we go, guys. The last set that we'll see in this type of packaging. Since they did change this, the packaging of the, of, the, of the Elites, they changed the packaging on the, on the Legends. But I honestly kind of like the, the, the new... The new packaging for the legends the elite ones are also kind of cool but i feel like they should have just gone with the same the same type of packaging all around you know with the legends but different color scheme like these look the same as the other boxes because they go all like 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 now they changed them to the triangle like kind of like a triangle like looking square so that i don't know if that's gonna go well with the with the rest of the other Le legends boxes you know what i mean um so i'm not sure let me know what you guys think about the the new boxes the new the new packaging but if you haven't done so guys follow me on instagram at wafr95 that's where i post all my like pickups from stores which i did posted both of the of the Teddy Biasis that I picked up. Oops. Get that 
some so I can bring the million dollar championship out of the, the packaging, which I don't have a million dollar championship, so that's gonna be my first million dollar belt to the collection. And as you guys can see, I don't know if it's gonna pick up well, but I have my my belts now. I reduced the the the, the um, collection there because uh, when I was fixing up my shelf, I kind of went through and put each belt with the respective figure. So uh, all the figures there have their own championship, what the original ones came with. So I didn't want to lose them. So that's what I did. But either way, guys, he does come with interchangeable hands. Now he comes with these sea grip hands on the million dollar champion, on the million dollar man. And of course, the million dollar championship. I always wanted the Jax one. But I thought that one was pretty sick. But... It looks kind of small though. I feel like this is like small to what the actual bell is. I think the bell is like bigger and it's supposed to be on scale with the rest of the with the belts. But I feel like this is way too small. And I kind of want to see if I can paint it like to to be more glittery. So yeah, look at this. All of the detailing with the with the. With the with the dollar signs all around looks pretty cool. I like I like the design of this championship, but again, I think it needs to be more. It looks too dull in my opinion. I think it needs to be more vibrant. Uh, like I know it's like supposed to be like actual gold, so it would be nice if they would have just uh, made it a little bit more realistic. So I don't know if I can do that. I might have to paint this. Try to see if I can give it a go. I mean, I did get another another of this bot another of this figure, so. I can always try that because this I'm planning to put it on my display with the rest of my legends. This is the uh, the head. I honestly don't know what this gimmick is or what this figure represents. So I have no idea who this is. So let me know down in the comments who this is um, or what it is. Um, it's an old head. Um, I don't know who this is, honestly. And there's some glasses and I don't know if they belong to him. Or if they're with Ted DBLC, but uh, it's pretty cool when they fit. So, and I think you can interchange the hand, the head. Like that? Is that how it's supposed to be? I'm not sure, guys. Let me know again. And, uh,. These glasses don't fit with the Million Dollar Man. <laughs> I know now he has, he wears glasses, but I'm not sure. Let me know. But going on to the Million Dollar Man himself, the suit, man, nice, nice. I don't know if this is like a repaint of the same like suit that we always get with like the Builder figures, but um, everything is painted on. There's no sculpting. It's just everything is painted. So this is why I don't know. If it's the same build a figure body, I just know that this is sculpted on, and I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. If it's supposed to be like a continuation of his shirt, if he had it like that, I'm not sure. But the head skin, um, I feel like it kind of looks a little bit too like cartoony for the million dollar man himself. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Kind of doesn't, I don't see the true effects on it, but I like the hair, the sculpting on the hair. The big dollar sign on the back. I like the silver outlines, the silver detailing on the on the suit. The white one is all white with gold detailing. It looks so sick though. The pants have this silver stripe on the side. Again, it's all painted on. But the shoes are pretty sick. They look like regular wrestling boots, but they have white laces and the white outsole. Looks nice. And my figure is pretty good it's not like loose loose now the, the, the didn't notice that this like thing is kind of loose on him the the jacket so um i don't know if you can take like a exacto knife and kind of open it uh that would be also pretty cool to do but he does have a good app crunch and see the 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 rubber the rubber piece right here is kind of flimsy so you can pose him around pretty well his app crunch actually works he can kick pretty far he doesn't have the drop down hips though 
So this is, I think this is the new mold, I want to say, for the pants. I'm not sure. I got to look at Mr. Perfect, though. Because Mr. Perfect for sure has it. But no, I think this is the old ones because it has a pin. The new uh, mold for the Build-A-Figure, uh, like, suited body has the new, like, pinless joints on the on the double jointed knees upper thigh cut and twist all the way hands also rotate double jointed elbows though what we want to see he can kick pretty far despite having the suit on he is on ball joints if i not, well they're not really ball joints not that i see it doesn't have upper uh, bottom uh like a like a boot cut here but I guess he'll do. He does have a little bit of ankle pivoting on this on the bottom here, but that is a nice figure right here with the million dollar championship on his. See, like I said, his shoulders like way too small, guys. What do you guys think of this boat? Way too small. But there he is, the million dollar man, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this figure. Again, make sure to uh, go follow me at IG at WFR95. I post everything. Stay tuned for more. There's a lot of figures that I have to do reviews of, and they're all stacked right there. So make sure to stay tuned. You guys don't want to miss them. I also have the Supreme CM Punk that I will need to open, and I do have to do uh, some orders for my Ultimates. So those, once I get them in, for sure we'll do an unboxing of all of them and review. So make sure to go, go like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.